Hey, what is going on guys? Tony here, CCXRC, and it has been a crazy, crazy summer for me already. Things going on that you guys don't even know about yet, and it's just insane. But there's times when you just gotta slow down and uh, stop and check out something new. And today is one of those days. We have the Arma Italian EXB ready to run here on the desk. This was sent by Arma for us to do a video on for you guys. So even though it's busy, and I've been doing a lot of other things today that aren't RC related, and they're just, it's crazy whirlwind time for us, I'm gonna slow down, I'm gonna stop, and I'm gonna enjoy this for just a minute. So let's do it. Ooh wee, look at that. That is awesome. These blacked out wheels look so cool. All right guys, so here's a quick look inside everything that you get, stickers. So comes here, standard gearing is gonna be a 15 tooth pinion, 50 tooth uh, spur gear on there. They also give you a 23 tooth. So man, that really ramps it up. So you go from 50 plus miles an hour to 70 plus miles per hour. That's running at the uh, 6S LiPo for that. Uh, but you can run it on 4S as well, get different speeds, all of that. Man, it's awesome. Different exploding views and all of that. You definitely want to go through your manuals, extra body clips and uh, pistons in here for your shocks that you can adjust. You still get tools with these, a couple of L wrenches, a couple of the big ones to get the wheels and tires off as well as a smaller T wrench in here. So all the tools you need as well. And again, you get that extra pinion gear in there. So let's put all this to the side, talk quickly about the radio. These are the new DX3s. These are good radios. Um, overall, you get a lot of different controls for it. Bind button on off here. That's the one thing. This thing can get turned on if you throw it in a backpack or something with batteries in. And it takes only a light press to turn it on. But to turn it off, you got to hold that in. Um, you got throttle limits here. 50, 75, 100. Uh, throttle neutral and reverse. Steering neutral and reverse as well and you have uh, battery here for the smart system, it tells you what your battery level is remaining on the car. Uh, you can do Bluetooth with these. They've got a Bluetooth module you can buy that goes in the top here. I have it for my Vortex. It lets you use your phone to be able to uh, make some changes to the settings and all of that. So uh, what else do you get in here? You have uh, steering rate or AVC, depending on whether or not the uh, receiver has AVC which we'll see here soon. All right, so did you just look at the box? It does have AVC on this. So this is gonna be to turn up or turn down your AVC rate, which um, something like this, you'll probably run closer to zero. Uh, but what it does is it helps you with throttle management and steering to keep it straight. So if you're punching it hard, it'll keep it from spinning out and um, getting traction issues. Uh, so yeah, you wanna turn that off if you wanna be able to break free in the corners and all that. Looking first thoughts, you can hear those metal gears, that Mod 1 chatter in there. Suspension feels good, very plush. Feels like a pretty thick uh, weight oil in there. I like it for something like this. We're going to be doing those big drops. Look at how just soft that takes that. Um, it is heavy, but you have that nice 7075 uh, aluminum chassis in here. It does have the body clips, nice matte gray finish with red, silver, really pops, looks amazing. It's got that fin on the back here, very armor like These wheels are interesting looking with the spokes in here. I love the look of it. Um, it's, it's not like a lot of the bashers that have a lot of tire here. It's, this is a, a big rim and a thin tire, so you're not going to get as much of that ballooning that you'd get with some of the other bashers in their lineup. This thing is meant to go fast and it's meant to really handle well uh, in the air. So let's go ahead and pull these body clips. Ah, I love it on these big ones. These body clips are sized just right uh, for the posts. They're very easy to get off. Nice thin plastic, which I actually think takes the abuse really well. Um, can see in here the little guards they have for the paint in areas where it'll be something would chip away and rub on the shocks up front there. They've gone ahead and put these up there to help protect the paint from rubbing out real quick. 
Very nice looking body. Nice paint scheme. Simple, clean, fast. That's what they're going for. Look at that. That is clean wiring management for a ready to run. I like it. Everything is nice and clean off of here. You do have that heat sink on there. No fan. So this is the uh, 2050 KV and it is uh, their model number is the SPMXSM1700. Nice big can on here. Looking at here, you see your 150 amp ESC tucked in right there. 6S capable. You got your battery straps up top here. Uh, what keeps the distance or the length of the battery in is based on this Velcro, so there's no stop on the amount of length that you can have. You really wouldn't want it sticking out past the chassis there where it cuts in because that could be problematic. Nice metal steering horn on here, servo horn. And you see the S652 servo. Little cap pack on here. Um, it's capped off right now so you can run with a single 6S battery or single 4S battery. Or uh, you take that off and run things in tandem. Two 3S batteries or two 2S batteries. It is running the IC5 connectors. It is smart capable, which is nice. You do have a fan here on the ESC and you have a room where you can put a fan on top of this heat sink if you want very easily. Um, looking up front, A-arms, these are steel turnbuckles on the top in the rear and then you got steering ones in the front, but the top are plastic up front. So that is all right with me. It is doing the pillow ball suspension in there, which is very common with their vehicles. Dog bone here, which is like a CVD style. There's sway bars up front here. You can see the metal sway bar. Diffs are easy to get to up front here. Nice, nice bumper on the front end as well. It's got a really, really nice stance to it, really wide. And like I said, that suspension, it just feels like a nice thick oil in there, very plush. Looking at the shocks here, you've got aluminum bodies, aluminum caps, and they are threaded shock bodies as well. And the preload on it's set pretty low, which actually feels very good for this setup. Thick, thick aluminum shock towers on here. Then you got these aluminum red braces that run to the chassis front and rear, as well as the top spreader bar here. Um, metal drive shafts, of course. You can see the servo saver in here, the little spring on this contraption here for that servo saver. Very nice. Uh, take a look at the bottom of the chassis here. It's etched with their Don't Just Bash Blast. I don't know if you guys saw it. They just had a NASCAR uh, running the number 34 car in the recent um, Pocono race. Had this on the back, looked awesome on there. Um, big, big arms on here. Those A-arms are real nice looking. I really like the stance of this truck. I like the shape of everything. You know, I'm, I don't know that I've really taken too much time to look at them before in the store. I don't know if they're open on the shelves or not at our local shop, but I really dig this a lot. So the next thing that we have to do, you guys, is we have to get this out there and do some tests with it. We'll do the little speed passes with it, see how fast it feels. Um, and then we'll do some bashing with it, just general good old bashing on it. Just make a quick look at the back here before I forget. It does have the sway in the rear. No wheelie bar on this. I like that. It doesn't have that. That's the first look at the Armitalian EXB ready to run from Arma. Looks tough. Look at that front end on that. That is nice. All right, guys. Be looking out for some run footage with this thing. We're going to get it out there and have some fun. We'll catch you guys in the next video.